Let's all go to Cargonia, land of stolen things. Obey the quartermaster, unless he is a link. <laughs> Stolen things, obey the quartermaster, unless he is a ling. The cognitive scar the station, a find more shit to take. But the boss ain't never satisfied until the station breaks. Red miners journey onward with pickaxe firm in hand. Check yourselves and not to die for they burn in love or land. Sing praises to Cargonia, give places old high priest. This is a place of refuge, and so singular's released. Lusty Xenomorph made was mating Ian the H.O.P. giving clown all access Because the lizards had taken the station The helmet was not complete The blob consuming the ship a treat Medical could not clone anyone Disrupted by the taterous Cuban Pete Botany scrambled for gun through lings and cultists and drakes Abundant the station was defenseless While security was beating all the robust assistants The janitor scrambled to clean The curator let out a tortured scream The chef and bartender retreated to the only nation Left on the scene Lost on the wide world of the internet, it is I, Dex of the Black Pants Legion, who have come here today to bother you. Yes, I'm here to bother you. I'm going to play uh, Hardship Space Breakers, Hard Space Ship Breakers, Hardship Break Shippers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play that game. 
You know, it's kind of interesting to really think back because this group actually was trying to pitch a game that then later became uh, Deserts of Karak, which is, like, wild. It was going to be a game about ship breaking and controlling resources on a desert planet, and then it became something in the actual homeworld universe. And now this is kind of back in the main universe, and wow, these guys are cool. And it's, you know, a story told through breaking things, which, boy, really, really does sound appealing. So let me put on my old man glasses here. All right, yep, if you, if you want to go watch Mike's stream, or no, that one, yeah, that one's still going, I think. If you're going to watch Mike's stream, you can watch him fix a spaceship, uh, or you could watch my stream where I break one. But either way, welcome and let's have a good time. Let me fire this motherfucker up. Oh, wait, whoops, that reminds me. Uh, da da da. Yep, no, not that one, not that one. Not, there we go. Kemp obvious drew that. His art is so cursed. Mm. Caffeine. <sighs> so, I hope you guys had a good week. I had a week that was uh, work, it was mostly work. Which is fine, because, I mean, that's that's what they pay me for. All right, so let me switch into the BPL so I have someone watch chat with me. One of my new moderators. One of my new moderators. I Can you guys, can you boys and girls be nice to my new moderator? Can 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 you guys promise to do that? Because I, I don't want you to scare my new moderators. I, I you know, I, I, I just don't. I, I don't want to. I don't want to be that guy. I, I I don't want to put someone on the spot. You can't. You can't be mean. She's real nice. She she likes cool games. She started getting into BattleTech. Really nice lady. Uh, one moment and oh god, quit launching the game so I can change channels in my own Discord. Yeah, no, be nice. Good evening, madam. Hello. Splendid. All right. So let me do a sound check, make sure everyone can hear you. So when you read chat, they know uh, it's you're reading chat. Uh, sound Good. check. Sound test, please. Sound test. One, two, three. Yes. Very quiet. Let me turn you up a little bit. There we go. All right. Try that again. Sound test. One, two, three. There we go. That's fine. She's very quiet. So I'm just going to keep turning you up. And one more sound test, please. Sound test. One, two, three. All right, well, I think that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, yeah. So we turned you up all the way. But, yeah, I mean, I, I turned you up all the way. This loud as it's going to fucking get. All right, next I need to hit that button, and then I have to go, eh, and See turn this on. on my end. Give me a <laughs> yeah, and before you turn that fucking dial and my ears fall off, <laughs> and be like, yeah. Okay, let me, let me get into, oh, my God, I have to start all over? Mother Fuck, what in the cinema toast fuck? Oh, wait, no, I read this. I read this. Okay, god damn it. All right, that is it. That is it. I... Mm. God. All right, so here's... Okay, and, uh, drain for more relaxed experience. Standard. You work on the clock. Limited. Who? What should I do? Open shift or should I do standard? Should I do like relaxing vibe stuff or should I do like hardcore? I'm not. Eh, ah, eh, eh, eh. How, how about a week if you had, I suppose? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I've. It's it's been a week. Yeah, it's it's been a week. Uh, oh, someone asked me for a spaceship fact. Uh. Okay, a uh, spaceship fact. Let's see. <laughs> Most spaceships are made of metal, but not all. Some are, in fact, made of wood. Oh, the wood ones are the best ones. They do creak in the interstellar winds, you know, in the phlogiston. But that adds to their character. It does. It does. It does. It does. All right, so let's see. Let's do... Du -dun, du -dun, du -dun. You know what? I'm going to do open shift. I'm just going to try to be... Wait, oxygen drain. Da -da -da. Drain dr plate. No, please. Da -da -da -da. Standard oxygen drain. Uh, oh, all right. Yeah, I, drain enabled, of course. I'm just going to do more relaxed so I don't have like a 10-minute 
thing. Oh god, there's an intro now? Holy shit. Earth has deteriorated into a splays of squalor and decay. Oh. No. A new breed of worker has emerged. The shipbreaker. Go, go, astro worker. I'd break ships for money. Dude. Dude. That's... Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. They actually pay you. There's, there's quite a lot that I do for... <laughs> Oh, cool. Now it's really loud for some reason. But see, look, there's food shortage continues. Wow. Pass deal, final notice. Wow. Cool. Now I can sign up. Nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 Midor Turks. That is my real name. Uh,. <laughs> Are you one of those people that, like, doesn't check their emails? I... I Just used to. they go away. I used to. Uh, so what is Intomaterian? Wait, do I have to specify plastic-free? <laughs> oh no. I have no criminal record in the Terran or Martian zones. A record in the Jovian frontier is acceptable. Okay. Not a member of the workers union. All right, I have completed my annual medical exam. Uh huh. No, no. Uh huh. Problem solving. Stand. Yeah. The 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 chances. And uh. Wow. All right. Uh huh. Skip training. There we go. I usually just scan these things for the word liver, and then <laughs> just agree. Look, I mean, they can't they can't take all your organs, right? Yeah. Take that, Space Kansas. <laughs> yeah. Each day he steps into the yard. Fuck yeah. To earn his way to Somebody's asking. Art. Text, what do I do with the mouse C96? I just I pray to the stars. Oh, heaven, uh, haven't looked at. To return my daddy to those he loved. Okay, I've, I've seen this bit before. It's very southern and sad. I get it. Hello, I grew up myself. What? Your automated Lynx onboarding experience will now begin. Oh, uh, this Please is different. Observe this important message. Uh, Faith. Boundless promise. No. Limitless resources. Boo. A brighter future. Wrong. It's here that hard workers like you, the backbone of civilization, will help us pave the way to the galaxy. Well, they did say paving. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson, president of Lynx Corporation Salvage Division. When my great great grandfather, Exeter, founded Lynx, he foresaw a remarkable opportunity among I'm the I'm sticking stars. the nose. His they, vision oh, eventually no. brought us the rail gates. Oh, the rail gates. Now spanning Need. all the way to Jupiter. These are the veins connecting all of modern civilization. Uh, uh, and uh. the people flowing through them are its lifeblood. The rail gates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued. God, I hate corporate onboarding. You have been selected from among thousands of candidates. We have been selected from among family. thousands of hobos. This is more than just a job. Well, it's they put the money into making the video and to might as well get their the money's largest, worth showing it to most everyone. Successful and most pioneering company in human history. Doesn't mean you have to listen. Your dream may be to forge your own destiny one day. Well, work hard, heed your superiors. Believe in the Lynx vision. I heard Lynx forces do this, their cutters to piss in bottles due to time constraints. Chance. In your experience, is this your true? First step uh, yeah, that sounds like uh, another company program. I know. The greatest <laughs> gift we give yeah. our employees. It has and an evil villain in charge, too. An ongoing opportunity for learning and growth. With Lynx, Why death bother with the is bottle? a fresh start. It's a spacesuit, man. There's got to be a valve. You know? 
inbuilt is it catheter? Yeah, probably. Video observation complete. To finalize oh. onboarding, your genetic sequence will now be extracted for use with the Side Link up. Ever Work Asset Replacement Program. Hello? Don't worry. Pain levels during extraction are largely tolerable. Uh oh. <laughs> Please note, as outlined in section 31 of your employment agreement, the process of genetic extraction will destroy your original body. Oh. Beginning extraction now. Unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. What's that? Oh, I'm 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 getting murdered. Okay. Thank you. Beginning I, I've been through this enough in Space Station 13 to know to set my watch to it, you know? <laughs> Look, if you've oh, got it's the three o'clock murder. Yeah, it's the three o'clock murder. Don't worry about it. Congratulations, it is now safe to die. <sighs> Alright. Here we go. Cool. Just like my real life. Oh. And I owe the company... And... Yep, still going. Yeah, I, I love how the display of the fees report is $7.50. I also like the itemized, you know, equipment security deposit having a penny on it for some reason. Uh, now, let's let's go through these really quick, okay? Citizen mm -hmm. report check, $120,000. How much is a background check? It, it's it's like 40 bucks. Okay, medical analysis, $362,000. In the future, I could see that. I could... Yeah, I sure I'll believe that one. Transportation yeah. worksite. Okay, going to space, not cheap. Sure, I'll believe that. Seat selection fee. That is ten thousand dollars. That is ten thousand dollars. This is Concord shit. This is Concord shit. Okay, now Kessler passage toll. This is some sort of tacked on government fucking tax. I know it because it's an odd number. It's seventy seven thousand dollars, right? So check this yeah. out. Luggage handling. Including gratuity of 35%. That's like a French hotel. Okay. <laughs> that is that is $212,000. That is half the cost of getting you to orbit is handling your luggage. Well, depends on if your luggage weighs more than you, I suppose. Because how much uh, what, do they have what, to actually... What are you taking to the fucking moon? What do you, what do you, I, okay, okay, you know what, no, we're, this, this is a let's play, but this is the kind of shit people want to know, this is why people upvote, all right, we're gonna get well, into the, no, we're getting into the big finks now, you're, you're fresh to one of my streams, welcome, I, you are now in the squared circle of knowledge, and you and I are philosophers, and we're gonna box out an idea here, so, okay, okay, okay let's, so, let's say, yeah, what you have to take, what do you, assuming, okay, if okay, they are literally you were, you were going to the moon, dollars. you were going to the moon, you were going to the moon for a couple of weeks, how much shit could you bring mm -hmm. honestly considering they charge you seven dollars and fifty cents to display the information they're probably paying and making you pay to transport your own suit how heavy would those suits be probably i don't know 70 80 pounds with all the oxygen shit i don't know but look look here's here's the thing here's my thing if i had to bring something to orbit if i had to bring this much shit to orbit i'm telling you i'm not filling my bags with clothes i'm filling them with cocaine because <laughs> i can then turn that around for a profit and buy another spacesuit this is how you become a quartermaster now moving on Automated onboarding procedure. That fucking film, one point two million dollars. Now, I, 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 I hate to say this. I hate to say this. I am a filmmaker myself. I've I've made lots of films. Okay, I've 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 made I've made a lot of fucking movies. Not all of them good. Some of them are pretty okay. Some of the BattleTech ones are pretty decent. Um, but uh, e e yeah, I see. A documentary film crew takes, like, two years to make a movie. Mm. And they take, like, 50 people and, like, a million dollars. Whereas Mike and I will turn one out in a few months. And it takes two of us at a couple thousand dollars. 
So yeah, but I, you meant just spread that out over the amount of people who are watching it. Like, well, you well, can't right, be the right, only right. person so, paying for the whole thing. Well, correct. And so that's what I'm saying. is like, you cannot be the guy with a $1.2 million ticket. That is bullshit. Absolutely. Okay, now the next uh, thing. Light look. Gonzo wants to point out that we're probably pa also paying in the luggage for our genetic material. No, no, that's the next item. That's the next item. Oh. Okay, so the lifeguard genetic backup storage. Okay, that is... $500 million. Now, if you asked me what is the cost of immortality, I wouldn't be able to tell you. But if you said it was $500 million, I would say, okay. Like, that makes sense to me. Uh, sure. Yeah. No no problem. Now, the next item I have a problem with, it, it's it's this biomaterial refrigeration. What material? Are they talking about the material they're going to make more of me out of? Isn't that gratis as part of this backup storage? Like, if I buy a service, like if I buy a bank deposit box... I don't get a tax using the door at the bank. You know what I mean? They're not going to charge me for cleaning the floor. They, they, I, I've bought the safety deposit box. That's part of the fee. Well, the, the genetic backup is like your DNA storage, whereas the biomaterial refrigeration is the... Well, actually, that's just the refrigeration. That's, well, that, that's not what I mean. Material they're, they're, they're charging overhead for whatever matter, you know, they're fucking... Yeah, this is Tom Nook bullshit. All right, so look... Equipment setup. In there as well. well, I know, but equipment setup, equipment setup, equipment setup. What equipment? Like it, it, it's it's two hundred and twenty-seven million dollars. That is an air force. You could buy an okay, okay. You couldn't buy a great air force of two hundred twenty-seven million dollars, but you could buy a pretty okay dictator parade air force with 227 million dollars <laughs> like you could buy a loud air force with 227 million dollars you could buy so many fucking mig 21s you could just fly over smoking and loud and you know show show people you're very virile and terrifyingly imprecise but um yeah so i don't get that equipment security deposit 325 fucking million dollars i'm sorry but no i think you're on the wrong line am i it is wait yeah it, it, look, okay, look, there's degaussing, right? And there's delousing. Why is delousing more expensive? <coughs> because, you know, I, I know I get, I get Earth is gross. I get Earth is gross. AK in 556 or AR. How many oh. lice are on you? Oof. Yeah. That, that, is, that is a cursed question, but AK is better in 556 than an AR is in 762. <laughs> Just saying. Um, let's see. Salvage rights, including notary. Find up, but, but oh, Jesus, they got me by the short and curlies on this one. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, you I've know. I've done cleaning uh -huh. as a uh, profession, and I would charge that much for some things that I've seen people do. Okay, now you have made a mistake. You have told me what you used to do, and thereby you uh, said it in public. So now it's become yes. public record. So we're gonna talk about gross stuff. Mr. Tex also used to clean. Um, okay. yep. long ago, Jesus Christ, quit, no, no more windows. <laughs> so anyways. Just let me get there. Yeah, I just want to touch buttons. All right, so ship catalog. We have to, we have to go do, ah, fuck. We have to go do the newbie ships and figure, figure this shit out. But, yeah. 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 All right. Uh, to Sarask, um, I'm a new moderator. My name's Hosfei. Yeah, that is, a, that is a new moderator by the name of Hosfe. She is delightful and fun. She enjoys Battletech and Stompy Robots and has a husband. So lay off, Thirsty Boys. <laughs> well, thank you. But you can no, compliment her. No, I'm not Sinus. <laughs> no, Sinus, the other, the other South Pacific person. I get so confused. Like, people get so confused between us. I really... It, they're different <laughs> accents. They're they're slightly different, you know, not a, not a lot, but slightly. Because we got it's, it's it's interesting to me the amount of people who have been like I'm a year and a half into the Legion, I think it is, whereas Cena's has been there for God knows how long years, and yeah. people who have been there with her still confuse us. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it's because you're both part of that fucking weird part of the world where everyone's like you part of that convict part and it's like no maybe no maybe the worst type of cheap spirit uh that's gonna be black booster that's that that's that whiskey from uganda i think no sierra leone 
You ain't lived till you had whiskey from Sierra Leone. All right. Oh, fish and chips. What? <laughs> Just ask Somebody them else. for fish and chips and you'll get the accent. Oh, I see. So I have fish and chips and the Kiwis have fish and chops. Fish and chop? What the what is that? Okay, I'm maybe this it's is It's just subtle. an accent thing. Okay. Okay. I'm just, I'm trying to remember the fucking controls for this shit. All right, there we go. All right. Okay. Okay. It's it's Just don't just you'll be right. Just don't go into the fiery bit. Don't okay? no no, I know what I'm doing. I have been in so many space accidents. This this okay. God. I know I, I've watched them. They're hilarious. I, shut up. Don't remind people. <laughs> It oh, Maccas! It feels so different. Oh God, yeah. This is they've they've changed how this feels. I I, I get the feedback is different, but I'm relearning my space like. So I just confirmed this motherfucker has absolutely nothing I want in it. So I'm just gonna try to jam it all into one of these and see what happens. <laughs> Should be entertaining. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Oh wait, do I not have any? What the fuck? I do distinctly love the noise that the tool that you're using makes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I love this. All right, that's fuck it. I'll, I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Right there. I'm gonna knock the edge off this thing, right? And I'm gonna float up, and I'm gonna be like, there we go. Take that. All right. Yeah. There we go. I wonder what they use for space dollars. Space pesos. Hmm. Spacos. Space, I don't know. Yeah. Space bucks. Uh, somebody said that tethers are a later unlock now. I don't know if that's... Okay, so that's changed. Interesting. Well, looks like I gotta be a ballsy guy and try to figure this shit out now. Right. I find it interesting that they've got here. This is the place that, like, I know because it's a game and this is what you're doing, you're breaking it. But it's like, here, these are the places that you cut to to make yeah. it break down. Traditionally, most objects don't have a... Yeah, no, it's like, how you yeah, break it. cars, cars typically don't have a cunt here to destroy. Because <laughs> you might have a kid come along with a sawzall and uh, just do that. Yeah. Like, I've seen people cut open cars with um oh with the, the jaws, jaws of life. life oh my god the cool see okay let, let me let me say this there's if if it was the post-apocalypse and everyone's like yeah I'd, I'd get a fucking machine gun oh i'd get a flaming sword i'd get a you know chainsaw i'd get this i'd be like i'd get the jaws of life i would Jeez, get you'd need a... that would be but... my weapon that's true but it's it'd be a very stationary one well, you're going to have to get a backpack generator, my dear. You're going to have to yeah, get a backpack true. generator. You're going to have to walk around with that backpack generator on. And, yeah, they're going to hear you coming. It's just going to be like, <laughs> as you but walk that's around. Fine. That's fine. That adds to the mystique. They're like, what is that? The buzzing of just Oh, God. <laughs> the buzzing of just <laughs> uh, I have seen those things in uh, up close and Oh, they're terrifying. And they are terrifying. They're loud. They're very, very loud. They're hugely loud. They're they are absolutely terrifyingly loud. Well, uh, it's just so magnificent watching them. Work. Oh yeah, no, it's it's hydraulic because you watch you you see something like the A pillar of a car, and it will just like two fingers cutting a piece a soft piece of butter apart. It just cuts. I had a um. Uh, I had to, one of the things, talking about gross things, um, I had to help uh, clean out a hoarder's house. Oh my and god, I, I actually did have to help clean out a hoarder's house once, so story um, time. We had a, my dad is a, um, a sanitation commissioner, He at the time he worked with garbage trucks, and uh, I basically, they had like a skip bin, I don't know if that's what you guys call them. I, um, I, I know what you're talking about, like one of them. Yeah bigger bins yeah yeah so um they i think they're like 300 dollars just as a call out fee for one of those and it's a hundred dollars a ton to get stuff taken away um we filled that up in less than an hour oh yeah and uh like we had like 15 people there trying to to clean and the people who uh it was a lady who passed away and 
her family was just like, oh, we've taken everything that's of value out. Um, we just want everything gone. And I'm like, okay, have you considered getting a garbage truck <laughs> rather than a um, rather than a skip? And they're like, wait, what? And I'm like, yeah, no, no. I, like, Here. okay, I have a question. Have you ever yep. played Viscera Cleanup Detail? Yes, I have, and I enjoy it slightly. You enjoy it slightly. Yeah. I love cleaning things. I just, I get joy out. So, like, I've been so, playing no, uh, no, the Power I, Wash Simulator Oh, recently. Power Wash Simulator. God, people in the Legion have been playing that. It's like OCD Simulator. Shut up. It's great. I know. I know. <laughs> it's... But, yeah, uh, sorry. Just to finish off the story, of we course. had... Um, we we stole everyone's uh, garbage bins, like the wheelie bins. I don't no. know if you guys... Oh, no. We have... Um, uh, they're made of like a really hard plastic and they've got two wheels and you tilt yeah, them yeah, and you yeah. just walk yeah that's, with them. Yeah, that's the normal garbage can here. Oh, okay, yeah. Because um, Americans sorry, are the, very large. The So we just took everyone's, or like gave everyone who was helping a garbage bin and just said fill it up and it just flipped in and just crushed everything. And so we had like fridges and... Oh my God. Um, that's, that's awesome. Uh, couches and it was just wonderful to when watch I, just... When I help, oh, when I helped clean up a hoarder's house, we found thirty-three ice cream makers. You know, just one just doesn't feel like enough. I know because you know, like you, 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 you know, some ice creams you don't you don't want to share the maker with other ice creams. Some ice creams are better than others, and they they deserve mm -hmm. to be in their own maker. <laughs> yeah, apparently, no one for each flavor. So you just <laughs> get the strawberry just... one. Oh my god, that that is, I mean, look, I'm genuinely autistic, but that's a level of autistic spaz I can't even condone or e even begin to sympathize with, you know? Oof. It's just, you just, you forget that you got one, or maybe when the person got married, 33 people bought them an ice cream maker, because, you know, like toasters and kettles and, you know. No, no. What happened was someone's <laughs> like, I want to make some ice cream. Where's the maker? I can't remember. Oh, well, buys one. That, that, with enough times. Yeah, I, I think that's what happened. I had a, um, I did an event once where uh, we were giving away free donuts as just a uh, thing to be nice and the we killed the uh, mix master that we were using to to mix up the donut mix and so um, my dad's tradie mate got out his uh, went and bought a brand new uh, drill bit and got his uh, masonry drill <laughs> as it should be <laughs> so, yeah. so we were using this massive pot and we're just making donut mixture with a with a masonry drill good enough you know worked yeah it's exactly as it should be you can find some amazing stuff by the way in thrift stores uh like american oh. thrift stores and shit oh my god i volunteer in in one so i know exactly one of my favorites is there's a guy out there who uh what he does is he goes out and he will go to thrift stores and he will just paint Hitler into them. And then he paint will what, sorry? He will paint Hitler into th into oh. thrift store paintings and then he will take them back. And say, "No, I didn't have room for it or whatever. Here, you can just have it back. I don't want my money back." And they'll then they'll sell it. And so he'll he'll do that or he'll sign it as Hitler. It's it's pretty fucking hilarious cuz people will be like, oh. "I found an original Hitler painting." And it's like <laughs> just some guy going to the fucking thrift store messing oh, with God. people. Oh yeah. It's it's fun. That's that was terrible. That, that was like some of the worst work I ever did was uh, if anyone out there thinks that appraising firearms for auction or anything is cool, it's not. Um, because basically that meme of fuck you, I know what I have, no low ballers is real. That's, that's very real. There are people who react like that with things and they're mm -hmm. expecting to sell them. That is that speaking of like just bad jobs in general, that's not a good one. That is a miserable fucking job. Oh, no, it's going in the wrong... Uh, no, I almost said going in the wrong hole. Oh, shit, someone's going to clip that. All right, fuck. All right, oh, wait. I flung it. Yes. Get in there, you bitch. Go. And... 
uh, float. Float. Float come like on. you mean it. All right. So, restarting this game has been interesting because it feels a little different now. Uh, mm. I have to change some of my sensitivities, especially on my mouse, but thankfully I'm a boomer and actually have quake settings for this mouse. Ready, eh? You gotta have them quake settings. Oh. There yeah, that's go. true. I was, um, doing some, uh, playing with my nieces and nephews because they don't have a computer at home, so it's great fun when they get to come over and play my computer. And they discovered the, the button that changes the... <laughs> the map settings and I'm like oh no why does this feel weird <laughs> oh no so so wait yeah it's i i hate that because sometimes there'll be an update and i will i that something in windows changes or whatever but the mouse resets and then i will be sitting there <sighs> using my mouse and i'll be like oh i'm gonna play this game oh i'm gonna be the sniper on the team and then like Fucking my mouse is I bump it a millimeter and it just goes flying at a thousand miles an hour off the fucking page and I'm like, what yep, is going I've done on? That. Yeah. Oh man, I'm running out of oxygen. I may perish. Oh, no. I'll be fine. So what do you think is the uh most awful thing that you've ever had to clean? Uh, bathroom. Yeah. Bathroom? Yep. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, people are just gross in bathrooms because you, you can tell, like, there's some people who are raised by decent human beings. There are some people that are just animals, you know? I have three bathroom stories. Oh, no. That, oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I mean, if, if, if you're fine telling them, I'm sure most people here are kind of interested, you know? So, hey, we should we should probably be like okay, give us a thumbs up if you're okay talking about gross stuff. Give us yeah, a thumbs like, down. Like, like who, who wants okay. to hear who wants to hear a horrible uh, like bathroom story or something? I mean, because I have no filter. Um, I I don't think things like some people get grossed out by things, and I'm like, yep, I'm completely oblivious to the fact that you might be slightly uncomfortable because of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's we'll we'll let them choose as I as I make an That's ass fair. of myself, you know. Yeah, uh, we've got two no's, about ten yeses. I don't know. I see. I see six hundred and something people viewing, but I only see two hundred and seventy likes. I guess they really don't care. That's how it is. Uh, look, we just lost two likes. They're like, nope, nope. <laughs> I withdraw my likes. I, I, they didn't go into the dislike though. No, no. They, they're they're patrician. They're not saying they dislike. They're just saying they withdraw their love from you. They don't hate you. But they withdraw their love from you. It's it's very medieval, you know. All right, so curse hit hit them with that knowledge. Let's see how how tough Chad is. Okay, so I think the hard, well, this one isn't a bathroom story, but I think one of the hardest things I ever had to do was um, I worked in a four story uh, building that didn't have an elevator. It was 150 teenagers that lived in this building, and it had a bin chute. Somebody decided to chuck a yogurt container down the bin chute without putting it in a in a bin liner. So somebody had to climb the bin chute. Uh, and because I weighed 50 kilos, that was of course my job to, <laughs> oh my to God. clean the off yogurt down the bin chute. Oh God. That sounds like just genuinely just ugh. That's horrible. Yeah. It was That's the I think that's the worst physical thing that I've had to do in order to to clean something. What about you? Oh. No, he's thinking. I can do another one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hit, hit us with another one. Let's hear. Let's hear something else. Uh, so I had a um, same building. Uh, there was a case of gastro going around, and uh, apparently all the toilets were full. So one oh, of so the, so they were just like fuck off. It's full. Yeah. Well, no, they decided to throw up in the urinal. Oh. And it's it's not as bad as I thought it was. No, 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 no. It gets worse. Oh. So, uh, the thing that I would do 
in that case is would be to uh, gown up, <laughs> put PPE on, and basically get it out and, and throw it out. That would be the smart thing to do. The other cleaner that was there with me decided that it would be a good idea to attach a hose and try and wash it down. <laughs> and I, I thought you were going to say use the vacuum to give it the suck because I, I knew a guy who was a janitor who had a, oh, ha, had a wet vac that he called the poop vac for a reason. Oh no! So so no, no it was gross because he always got the replacement warranty. I I want to say at like Home Depot, and so he had the poop vac, and he would use it for like six months until it just reeked every time he turned it on. Because you know you've been vacuuming turds and whatever else, and he'd take it back and go get a new one. Oh seriously? Yeah, he he was not a, he was not a nice guy. He was just a guy I knew who you know he he was he was like yeah I. Yeah, he had he had a poop vac. Well, the um, well, obviously, uh, crime scene cleanup is the worst. I haven't done crime scene cleanup. Crime scene cleanup. I've only done actual living human being. Yeah, but living um, people can be way gross. Yeah. I mean, just listen to Stagger and his hospital oh. stories. Oh. I work in a hospital too, so it's like, I I get that, but. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm turned off by Stagger. <laughs> yeah, no, Stagger. Uh, St Stagger has a magical way of telling a story that is both visceral, human, and terrifying. Yeah, uh, yep. No, I'm I'm going to 100 percent agree with that one. I think but the yes. reason I think the reason that Stagger disturbs most people is because he is ultimately to them, through a mirror darkly, what they could become. <laughs> I'm. Not gonna disagree with that. That's why I like him. Yeah, no, he's a he's a nice enough guy. He's he's, just, he's a weird one. He's I, in, I just tend to walk into the rooms when he's telling horrible like, stories. Oh yeah, horrible stories, and I'm like, I need context for that. But no, you really don't. don't. No, 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 you, you, to no, you, it. you, you don't understand. <laughs> with a stagger, you you don't get context. You don't get you don't get context with a stagger story. You get the middle. You yes, get the no, middle. You don't. True. You don't get the catalyst. You don't get the events. You just get like. So there I was with the homeless guy, and you're like, wait, well, well, what happened to the rest of the story, Stagger? He's, he's like, so there I was with the homeless guy, and it's it's like you you have to settle because that's the part of the story you're getting, and you're hoping that by asking questions through the course of the story, you could get more details uh, with which mm, to paint yes. a truer narrative. That's basically how I work my conversations, actually. I'm like, I actually missed what you said, so I'm kind of hoping that you repeat it later and I get the contact. Oh, good luck. Most of his stories are insane. I mean, they're they're D, &D oh, no, stories oh, just from... Oh, people in general. Oh, yeah, well, fair. No, most of his stagger stories are D&D &D stories from, you know, the greater Milwaukee area, uh, which are <laughs> which is the craziest part of the internet and the craziest part of the real world for D and D. So, I mean, this is, this is Guy Gax's backyard. This is, yeah, he's <laughs> staggers a wild guy. I like him a lot. Yes. No, there's, there's no, nobody in the Legion that I've met that I haven't, I've been like, you know what? I really don't like you. No, they're all just different people. Yeah, it's very, very different, but they're they're all lovely, and uh, uh, my husband has described, because my husband is in the Legion as well, um, has described it as a group of bikey gang people that would help a grandmother across the street. Well, then, so, well, okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so it's like, they might seem uh, gun-toting and scary, but if you need help, they're there for you. Well, yeah, so. I mean, we, we, we are, I mean, well, yeah, I, I would say that the Black Pants and Mal the, the Black Pants Legion could easily form a respectable militia, e even by <laughs> European standards. Um, uh, if it, in, in that militia, I think I would be a logistics person. That's fair. I mean, I, we'll, we'll need logistics. So, because I'm not the gun toting, like, I, I fully respect firearms. Well, that's um, fine. I, I mean, I, I I don't want to impose my 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 viewpoints on other people. Uh, I just I grew up in Australia. They just don't. They're not 
like we can have them at, like if you're a farmer or something like that and you need to protect your protect your property from wildlife because well, jokes and, about the Australian wildlife. Oh, and I understand that. I mean, you have spiders that look like they're Dark Souls bosses. You, you, yeah, but they're the harmless ones. Yeah, that's the scary part. So here's <laughs> here's my logic to you, and here's here's the way I describe it: is um, I I I understand why you you guys maybe don't have such a want or need or perhaps gun culture but um see we as americans if we had one trait i would say it is you know we're we're very impatient and so when when britain started slapping us around you know we we had a thought or two and rather than you know sort it out with language and stuff we decided to start capping people because we're impatient <laughs> We're not a violent people. We're just impatient. If America had a That's national right. anthem, it would be honking car horns. We do not <coughs> like waiting. We hate lines. We we are very impatient. That is that is my theory. The the American Revolution was not so much an act of patriotism, but an act of we are tired of British people and their stodgy bureaucracy. And we, and we will shoot whoever we have to to have less paperwork. You know, that's 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 just kind of the way we do things. So the way we accomplished this was not through, like, sternly written letters, um, but the application vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, cap and ball uh, of various lead, uh, you know, lead-based uh, anti-imperialist measures. And so they, they wised up after a while. French helped a bit. And... Uh, <laughs> French helped a bit. Of course, the French helped. Well, the, the only reason they held was fuck, I, fuck you guys, and and you know, we settled we settled it out. But so then, uh, sometime later, the rest of you guys just bide your time until England gets tired of you, and then you're like peace, and you leave. <laughs> Where's the fun with that? Yeah, no fun. It's just just got to have a little bit of violence to make it fun. Well, yeah, I mean, Australia had Ned Kelly. Uh, New Zealand has ah, yes. the Hobbit movies. You both have your acts of violence against humanity. Well, was, um, somebody uh, asked if Australia is having a mouse problem. Yes, we most certainly are having a mouse problem. I'm in the middle of that. Um, and what? And Shipbreakers did receive a new update, yes. See, here's the thing, though, is I, I have a plan. I have a I have a plan. It's it's mm -hmm. it's it's very very basic, but this is just my plan here. And I I, I well, sometimes basic plans are very good because there's less that can go wrong. All right. So okay, you you know how there's a bunch of countries that all have this like really funny symbol in the corner of the flag that's like the stripy bits, you know? And we refer to these mm. these these countries as the Commonwealth, right? So yes. So Bahamas, Caymans. I think, uh, you know, Canada, South Africa, just look, we're, we're going to, here's, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Is we call a secret meeting, a top secret meeting, like, like totally, totally secret, not like Lord of the Rings secret where they're like, we're having a secret meeting to discuss what to do with the ring. But it's like literally in a park out in the open under the cover of noon. You know, <laughs> it's, it's like not secret at fucking all. We're just not telling people that it's happening and hope that nobody notices. Yeah, you can't you can't do that. So here's here's my plan. And my plan is dumb, but we're gonna we're gonna have a secret meeting and we're gonna get all of the Commonwealth in one room, right? We're gonna we're gonna mm -hmm. we're gonna get all the Commonwealth in one room and I'm gonna say, Okay, here's what we're gonna fucking do. We're gonna go to the fucking UN, right? And uh, we're going to bring forward a proposal, first thing at the UN, all of us, and we're going to say, uh, yeah, team, team Commonwealth, one nation. One nation, one money, one set of giant fucking balls and nuclear weapons. Mm -hmm. And so, so it, it just becomes the United States of the Commonwealth at that point. I'm saying United States because, uh, well, to put United it... United Commonwealth? No, yeah, the United, see, the United Commonwealth. The United Cool Kids Club of countries that have common law that we all kind of agree to. The, the, the common emancipated uh, countries of <laughs> Grandpa Britain. 
I would just call it, yeah, I would, I'd, I'd be call it the the cool kids club, you know, like and, and no, and, and, and that's the thing is you just, you just put all those militaries under one thing, because let me be honest, nobody has a military in the Commonwealth, but America. <laughs> I mean, you guys have like paper armies. Um, yeah, no, we no. have, I think we have more reserves. Like we, we have the army reserves, but yeah, obviously not. That, that, well, America, that's, but. that's what I mean is it's, it's like, you know, we've been on a war footing since 1945. So it's, it's like, but America's gone. That's what we're good at. And yeah. so you're like, okay, well, everybody's going to we'll be good at that. something. And, and also you don't want Australians on fucking peacekeeping missions. They tend to shoot everything. <laughs> hey, <laughs> they well, do. No, you're right. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm, I'm saying that to be like, look, you, 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 we, we know what started your colony, and it, it wasn't church going folk, was it? Not the good ones, no. No, 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 not the fun ones. Well, let's say. They basically went, look, we have prisons that are too full. We need to put them somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. And just... uh, yes, I am aware of the emu war. Um, yes, we lost that one, but have you ever stood next to an emu? They are terrifying. They, they, they are, are terrifying. no, they are terrifying. They're huge. Yeah, no, I've met them. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I, I saw one, and I was like, no. No. Why, why would nature make this? Well, well it's just, it's, we've got the emu, and we've got the cassowary. We do share the cassowary with, um, Indonesia. Um, yeah. And I think the cassowary is a little bit smaller than the emu, but it's it's got it's so got here's, dinosaur feet. Here's the real question. Yeah. Best best eaten of those two, which? Uh I've never eaten cassowary. Um I'm, actually I'm not gonna lie, I've never eaten emu. I have eaten kangaroo. It is quite nice. Um it makes really good stir fry. Really? Yeah. Kangaroo good stir fry. So, if I had to be the animal that I'm the most terrified of in Australia would be the wombat. You don't know, fuck around with those things. Why? Because they are bricks on legs. Ooh. And I have, uh, again, my dad um, knew somebody at his workplace who hit a, uh, hit a wombat going 120 kilometers an hour. And he rolled his car. He was okay. He got out of the car, and the wombat was angry and attacked him. It was fine. Jesus. See, that's why I don't trust that place. I understand why they shoot Lord of the Rings <laughs> there because they don't have to go far to find a Balrog or a Gollum or whatever. They just, you know, they're 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 like oh we need a creepy thing that eats fish in the dark and they're like oh you mean gary yeah he works down at the motor court let's go get him <laughs> and and also wombats poop cubes why Perfect. why I, why I don't why i just i don't why because they built like brit shit shit houses okay that okay? makes no I sense you, you no that makes no sense you can't say like yeah someone's so strong this shit cubes that's no that, <laughs> it, that, that's an x equals y i just i've been that's what i know i i blame the sheer amount of uranium that we have in this country the radiation has just oh la di da it. my country's full of uranium well, la di da we tested nukes in ours like every eight minutes <laughs> we, ble we, it, we used to set off nukes you could see from vegas <laughs> Like you could look out from Vegas and just see. <laughs> we do have places that we're not allowed to go. I know, I know. Oh, by the way, did you know that uh, in Vegas, right outside of Vegas, they used to have atom parties? What? They called them bomb parties. They would actually show up uh, right outside the test test site, and they would have uh, parties with cocktails. You can actually go find the cocktails that they used to uh, make for these atom parties. They're all like atomic themed. It's pretty cool. So people right. used to I go to nuclear I'm tests. Fallout, so. Oh yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. People used to go to atomic tests uh, in the fifties before they started to get really wise to like, what if there's spies, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like maybe we shouldn't let everyone just willy nilly walk around the nukes. But yeah, no, um you know, Australia wised up to that. Well I know. You you guys you guys blew up an island, I think was your first test under the Brits. 
And then, ev- and then after that, I know you guys just found parts of the outback, and you're like, nothing lives here, and no one will notice, and just <laughs> shut off news, <laughs> and then. No one's really complained about it, I don't think. I, I think it's just been like, has anyone noticed? Nah. Well, I've driven past the area. Um, yes, it is in the middle of nowhere. I have driven across the desert quite a few times to get to different cities. Um, because driving is much cheaper than flying. Uh, yeah, it, it really is in the middle of nowhere. It's Victoria, I think. I remember correctly. All right, so someone keeps asking if I had to choose a clan Mac, which would I choose? Depends on the mission. There's no one Uber Alice, but probably Mad Cat Mark II, just because it's a good all rounder. However, uh, here's here's a real question. Um, so, so have you heard of this restaurant that is big in America that is called Outback Steakhouse? Yes, I have heard of it. Have you ever looked at their menu? No, I have not. I I am going to encourage you to look at the Outback Steakhouse menu to see what sort of horrific mockery of Australian culture this restaurant is. <laughs> I, I am encouraging you to do that right now because I want okay. you to look at the Outback Steakhouse menu and the items on it, and I want you to keep a straight face as best you can. As oh, that's best. not going to happen. No, I mean just that's that's the challenge of it. I I want you to keep like, a straight outback face. Steakhouse. Yeah, out outback steakhouse, an Australian themed steakhouse. There's pictures of Australia on the wall and shit, and yeah. Okay, it's already it's nice to meet you, as in M E A T U. Yeah, they're they're okay. a steakhouse. They're trying to be clever. Oh, hang on, that one's in Australia. <laughs> what? I want one. At, I want one in um. There we go. I got a Wikipedia page. Listen, listen, me machine. I am not gonna leave Bloom and Onion alone. And me machine, look, everyone, everyone, everyone in chat. I want you to know something. You know those meat space videos where that guy cooks the things that are cursed. That's that's Rabberdasher. That's me machine right there. He's also the guy in the podcast who's the Lord of the Rings expert. And he is also an accomplished barbecue connoisseur. And he is the man who has eaten the most meat in one sitting I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> so, okay, back, yeah, we need to find, you need to find the American menu. Okay, I think I found a menu. Yeah. Is this an Australian menu or is it? Well, you're going you're to have to go to the American Google, not the kiwi.kangaroo.com. Look, Nets I have spent a lot of effort Comcast. into making it so that I only get Australian stuff because I'm like, oh, this is great. I'm going to buy it. Oh, I can't buy it. That's Nobody what happens. That's when you, you live in a weird thing. It's it's like this weird lump at the bottom of the world, and that's where you yeah. live. That, it, it's well, great. I love it. Yeah, yeah except you're, look, you, you, you like it there, and that's great. You know, I'm happy. Okay. But you have to know that there are going to be some problems with living in your island paradise yeah. namely that you will not have full access to all of the terrible things you need but you have tim tam so i guess you're fine oh, I, I know you keep talking about them like people will be like oh tim tams and then like you're like ding and you just show up and you're like what was that <laughs> send them to me i i've had them before they're actually quite good they're they're just, oh. it's one of the greatest things that we've invented so so like in the great australian inventions in the great australian inventions list you're gonna put tim tams up there mm-hmm. along with the hills hoist which is a, a type of clothesline oh so a type of clothesline uh mad max and tim tams mm-hmm. all right no that's fair i mean i i have to put mad max in there because miller's a fucking genius and i'm not gonna hear otherwise oh, no, i love that movie it's great uh, the best way to summon an Australian is to say Aussie, 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 and the only response is oi, oi, oi. Yeah, all right, so that's fair. How do you summon a New Zealander? Um, hmm. Good day, can't. I've never. Uh, you want to have some chips on your deck, bro? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, no, we're gonna, we're gonna wind that back. You're gonna have to explain that to someone who is currently in possession of a mid-atlantic accent maybe so go ahead what is 
Okay, would you like to have some fried potatoes on your patio? Okay. And 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 it's I I understand. Friend. It's it's just when you say it very quickly, it 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 sounds like something else. I'm 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 just saying that. I'm not going to be insulting to my Kiwi friends by saying sheep because I they've been polite to me, so I'll be polite back. But you're holding on to that thing in case they become unkind. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's the one thing you can use because things I know about uh, New Zealand. Lord of the Rings was shot there. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Uh, that is that is it. Oh, that and uh, in the seventies, like there was this thing where uh, Greenpeace was going to try to fuck around with the Polynesian French nuclear tests, and they were anchored in uh, New Zealand, and so the French Securite or their Secret Service <laughs> sent some guys to go sink the Greenpeace boat. Um, and I, I, I remember that because I was studying Cold War, uh, Pacific, uh, geopolitical, uh, incidents. And I was like, oh, neat. Other than that, not much. I, I, I know a few things here and there. I, I know that, like, New Zealand was the last user of modernized A4 Skyhawks, and they used their upgrade program called the Kaku, which was actually really cool. Mm -hmm. And I know that they kind of pulled out of the Anzac sphere a little bit and are a little bit more neutral, where you guys are a bit more like, Chub, bro, you're in my backyard. I'm gonna kill you, and 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 so they're like the more hippy dippy of you guys. <laughs> so they're like your Canada. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think we help them a little bit more with the military, but like, well, I mean, they really they have a navy of like a boat, right? <laughs> That's what I mean. It's it, it, it's it's just one of those things. Like, yes, we should call the New Zealand Navy out, and it's like boat. <laughs> you know, just. I Boat singular. Uh, somebody said something that I need to respond to. Where's it gone? Oh, it's fine. So it, somebody asked why do so many battle take players use assaults and heavies, and that's because of perceived ease of use. People think very much like Team Fortress, so they will sit there and think, "Ah." I like heavy weapons guys, so I will like heavy weapons mech. But the truth is, is they don't understand where they sit on that little pyramid or, uh, oh, hold on, trying to move this giant fucking thing. Um, you don't understand where you kind of sit on that little, uh, Venn diagram of armor and mobility and firepower and all of those things. And you want to make sure that you have exactly the mech you want. And a lot of people just go with what's easy. Um. Uh, in response to, if I lived in Australia, would cockatoo still be my favorite animal? That depends. Do you like things being above a decibel that is acceptable to human uh, noise restrictions? So what you're saying is cockatoos are very fucking loud. One of them is loud the congregations that they like to sit in in the thousands is really fucking loud oh i see they they screech and they scream oh and god there is a lot of them see we're learning things okay so how now how tasty is koala never tried it and i wouldn't recommend it uh they're endangered they they wouldn't let you eat them oh well, that's, mm. I see. So I made a million dollars. Well, no, sorry, I didn't make a million dollars. I I <laughs> lost probably some. Hey, so how much did you just lose? I don't know. Uh, let's see. I got that, and then I got. Oh, I see how they do it now. Okay, so you unlock, you unlock the tether module at three. No, yeah, wait four. All right, so then you go, got it. Okay, got it. So I see how they did it. They changed it up. Oh, and look, I get stickers. Hey, nice. stickers. Love stickers. Yay. Actually, you have my sincerest apologies. Cockatoos oh, no. aren't as bad 
It's Galars that I'm thinking of. The pink menaces. Well, I know I know a few things about um I know I know I know a few things about Australia. I know that you guys um like a good bit of rowdy violence. Mm-hmm. Um that you're always up for a fight. Mm-hmm. Um that your favorite sport is bar brawling. Um <laughs> and I believe it's called rugby there. Um Yeah, yeah. Uh and and Oi, 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 side up. Yeah, exactly. And and you also <laughs> you guys uh have a way with swearing that is majestic. <laughs> it, it's it's majestic and I, I'm not I'm not just trying to say that to be like, oh, oh it's funny. It's like there I've seen Australians swear in ways that made career military men in the in the US military like blush. They just don't know what to say because it is that That's, level I don't uh, know that they're doing it. That's all. Well, yeah, it's no. Just, it's it's just it's it's one of those things and you're one of the more reserved examples, but it's it's still one of those things where I do try. Oh yeah, you do try, but I've also heard you go, "Oh fuck," you know, and it's like just See, in America, they'll go, that's unladylike, or whatever. But in I don't know what it is about the South Pacific and you guys. I'm, I'm not sure if it's just the uh, interesting past or the starting limit of your colony. But, uh, yeah, America was founded a lot by Puritans, and so we have kind of a certain weird way of how people are supposed to act. But, I don't know. Well, there was no... There's, like... Okay, so you have the British, the people that brought us here, that brought the... the um convicts here well here's the, here's the and, question when did the biggest group of them come over because i don't know that history all that well the uh, largest group i have never asked that question i was thinking um, like in what decade like when when you have a big enough colony for it to be totally self-sufficient i'd have to google that because i actually don't know well and um, here's the, here's the reason i ask is here's hmm. theory You have the Victorian era, right? And the Victorian era is hugely prudish Mm -hmm. and and very, very much like, look, this is the stratification of society. This is what the good trades are. This is what the bad trades are. This is what respectability is. It's it's Dickensian. It's that Charles Dickens accepted status quo and suffering. And it's it's this really crazy thing. But I realize that countries that didn't have or had broken with that culture after or before the Victorian era are vastly different Mm. because they evolved with it, you know, or without it. Sorry. These are my deep (laughs) things. I, I, I I do deep (laughs) things when I work with my hands and that's, this is kind (laughs) of what I do when I gunsmith. Cause when I'm gunsmithing, I'll just be sitting there going, I wonder when we're going to get to the next big Fermi filter. That's fair. No, that's fine. Um, the I think Australia has been built on the idea that you've got a whole heap of people that were considered lower class. Well, of course, disposables. At disposables, and a lot of them didn't actually really do anything wrong. No, they um, were poor. They were poor. that. That was their only. Crime. How how dare they be unemployed? That's fucking bad. Um and. You took them to an incredibly inhospitable place and basically said survive um and that's what we did and so like okay we have to survive we have to thrive and we don't care about authority <laughs> Screw well, yeah you, God, God, well that's what i've noticed is is you know there's there's kind of a deep set like if you look at the canadians right the canadians mm-hmm. actually believe it or not have a lot of royalists um, the yep. Canadians have a lot of people who firmly believe in the Queen and the Commonwealth, and that's because they saw prosperity. <laughs> you know what I mean? They they didn't live through a Botany Bay. <laughs> no. Yeah, so it's it's one of those things. Whereas Americans, we turned inward. We we went to our puritanical roots. So when we suffered through our bad colony days, we were like, "It is God's will. We are being tested." You know. So we <laughs> we did we did the forty k thing. That's how we turned out the way we did. Can I mail you a huntsman spider? No, thank no. you. I uh, um, pass. I don't want to do that to the 
uh, post person who has to look at that. The post person's not going <laughs> to fucking care because the American post person's just going to run over it with a truck. Yeah, that's probably the, the, the big beggars. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't um, give a fuck. No, they're, they're, they're fine. They, they they do their job. They, they do. I had one in my bedroom on a, once I called it Steve. Really? Steve? Yeah. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, no. Um, well, go ahead. Sorry. Just the saying. other thing is that, yes, I'm aware that quite a few Australians have come that aren't from uh, convict backgrounds. My ancestors were oh. from Austria, so yeah, I'm not you had a lot of people who of came to actually buy land or start businesses, um, yes. like like any and colony, you know. I was very much the farming background, so um, I've never lived in major city, um, and so it just I, I live out in the middle of stick. No, I, I know that. I grew up on a farm. I mean, I, I could drive a tractor before I could drive a car. Uh, and I miss tractors because they're cool. Because <laughs> no, tractors I, I, are not fast, but tractors are quick. And that is that is the that is the fun of a of a tractor. Is is they are they are not fast, but you know you may only go sixty miles an hour, but you can pull a house at sixty miles an hour. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's the same respect that I have for garbage compactors, I also push over to um, tractors because it's just like, it's going to do its job. Oh, yeah. It doesn't care if you're in the way of that. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. It's, mm. see, heavy equipment is something that I, I think if, okay, if, if I was a, if I won the lottery, if, if someone came to me and said, Tex, I'm going to give you like enough money to live the rest of your life on and you can do whatever you want. And I, I just had to sit there and figure out what to do. I would, I would probably buy. I would honestly probably buy full size construction equipment and go play in the sandbox as an adult. <laughs> like full size construction equipment and just be like, you know, and, and people be like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm playing with my fucking ditch digger. Like, go away. It was mine. Yeah, it's it's like I I just wanted to do this. Like I'm I'm planning a flagpole with this eight ton crane because I wanna. Well, see the thing is, there's actually a industry for that called mining, and um, <laughs> it's pretty big here in Australia. We I know. Oh, uh, you, you guys got a Cooper Petty. That's I've always Cooper wanted. Petty. Yeah, Petey, Cooper Petey. I I've always wanted to see like a fucking dwarf city, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I've heard that it's like a redneck dwarf city. Ah, uh, yeah, well, the Australian version of the redneck. The Bogans. The Bogans, yes. Yeah. That's fair. So, uh, for those, for people out there, because uh, I, I heard the Australians mention it once, and people like, what the fuck are you talking about? So, I need, I need to help educate people, because I, I think I educating, well, I think educating people through Tech Stocks Battletech is just one thing, uh, but I think that educating people through the world and experiences is another. So, uh, could you explain to people the majesty of a bunning snag? Oh, oh, yes, but of course it would be my pleasure. So you get a tent, which is provided by Bunnings, which is a company similar to, uh, what have you guys I would say America? Home Depot or... Yeah, yeah. Home Depot. I was yeah. going to say it's not, um, it's not Walmart. It, it's only uh, provides uh, construction equipment, Yeah, yeah, fixtures, fittings, stuff like that. Yeah, it's a... It's actually, I, I looked on Google Maps, it is actually the biggest building in my town. <laughs> cool. So that's that's the uh, importance of that building right there. Uh, so I live in a town of 60,000 people and Bunnings is the biggest building that we have. Uh, Bunnings provides the tent, the barbecue and the gas in order to run the barbecue and uh, charities, um, they provide it for charities and for two dollars fifty you can get a snag and for a dollar fifty you can get a can of drink okay can um, you, you you have to explain what a snag is because yeah we, i'm getting there i'm just all right, all leaving right. it to last okay uh options include barbecue sauce and onions and tomato sauce those are your options a snag is a piece of bread with a sausage that is cooked on a barbecue 
It is fucking fantastic. So you go to the hardware store to get a sausage with or without onions, with or without sauce, mm -hmm. on a bun for like two fifty. No, no, not a bun. A piece of bread. Oh, sorry. A yes, a a mom's tired bun. <laughs> yeah, essentially, but it's 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 not a hot dog. I've had people confuse it and be like, "Is it a hot dog?" It's like, no, it's not a hot dog. No, it's, it's a proper uh, sausage. It's it's yes, proper. It's, so it's beef sausages. We've had we had an issue once where somebody tried to do um, pork sausages, and they're like, "No, you can't do that." <laughs> No, I mean, a bunning snack should be a beef sausage. It should be, like, caramelized grilled onions as an option. Oh, and, you're making and, me hungry. Yeah, and, and, the, onions, and the onions Hang on, can't, I might The onions can't be crunchy. They have to be slightly jammy. And then you want, yep. and then you want that with, with or without a sauce. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I get it. I get it. Though you, you do occasionally get small children, like, parents with small children coming up and go, can I give you 50 cents for a piece of bread? And they're like, sure. Well, of course. I mean, you don't want to be a bastard. Be like, get yeah. a job, you rapscallion! You wastrel! Into the street with you! Uh, brown onions in, uh, Tulish. I yeah. think they're white onions, but we call them brown onions. But yeah, well, yeah. And all of that money goes to a charity. See, now that's how so. you raise fucking money for charity. Like, if, okay, now look, if, if I said, if I came up to you, and I said, hey, Osfe, I need you to give me like $10 for this, this fucking uh, library I'm trying to save. You might say, sure, Tex. Or you might say, I don't know. I, you know, I don't have the money or whatever. But if I said, hey, for $10, I will sell you some fucking sausages with fried onions. You'll just go, yeah. And then that money goes to charity. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Well, you, you just, the traditional way is you say we're having a sausage sizzle. So that's, and everyone's just like, fuck yeah, I'll be there. See, I love that idea for charity raising. How do we raise money for charity? Cook shit. <laughs> See, in America, they have bake sales, right? But the problem is in, in bake sales, okay, I'm, in, when, when it comes to cooking stuff, like meat is hard. Meat is hard because mm -hmm. it's easy to fuck meat up. But I, I would say baking, also very hard because you can do everything right for three hours and fuck up the last step and that oh, shit's yeah. ruined. You know, I, I I think that that is that is fairly fairly accurate. So it's I don't know. I mean, you can't really screw up a sausage. It's like oh, you can fuck a sausage up. Oh, you mean no. in making one or you mean in cooking one? Cooking. You can fuck one. It, no, you can. You, okay, look. Uh, if if it's if it's cooked so much, it's like an old condom that's like dried on the concrete. Like but the that, thing is, we have people come up and ask for those. Those people are monsters, and you should I turn know, them away, we, we and you should to... send them back to the cave from whence they crawled. You should they follow them back to that to cave and stake them in the heart because they are they men pretending to be want. men. They are no. ghouls, madam. They are ghouls. They are not real. Anyways, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Be that as it may, they're giving money to charity. All so. right, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm just saying, like, if I needed to, look, me, uh, okay, so before COVID, before COVID, in the year before COVID, there was the BPL meetup. I was in a vehicle, me, Machine, and I, we split a fucking Uber, and we saw okay. a ghast, a real world ghast, like a and d ghast. I'm, I'm not shitting you. We saw a ghast. Was it Saga? No, it wasn't staggered. It was a ghast. And I, I said, I think I see a ghast. And we had finished uh, Curse of Strahd. And so I was like, dude, that's a ghast. And he's like, no, it's not. And he looks over and he saw it. He's like, oh, my God. And I was like, dude, you're going to turn into it. And he's like, did it? And I asked, did it look at you? And he said, yeah. And I was like, man, you are fucked. And then, you know, yeah, there was a trucker ghast. It was pretty crazy. Interesting. I run into weird shit in my life. Yeah, yeah. I love how people are like was it stagger? Oh. <laughs> that's the that's the one question. Like, is it was it stagger? Stagger's a weird man. So I've been looking over this menu that you told me to look over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please. Okay, so it's very uh, punny for. Uh, Australian. Okay, I can get behind that. I, I, I don't mind puns. In fact, I come up with them quite a lot, but I know that it hurts you, so... 
It does. Um, look, okay, a good pun is great. A bad pun, like a real groaner, can end a day. Okay, <laughs> like like I love anti jokes. As, as you well know in the Legion, my proclivity for anti-jokes with the Minecraft joke book that I will bring out. Um, but, yeah, it's... Puns have a place, but I'm very guarded toward them. Because some people just go, oh, yeah, I, I'm puns are my only humor. And I'm like, you can jam that up your ass. So, all right, look. Anyways, let's let's go over that. Let's. I want to hear what an Aussie thinks of the menu of... Okay. I, I have to Outback respond Steakhouse. to now tell Tex about McD's and Burger King have different names over there. First of all, it's Macca's. <laughs> uh, the... <laughs> and we like... call it Hungry Jack. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold up. <laughs> Menu. No, um, hold, no, no. I yeah, Hold on. Yeah. We are grinding this to neutral. Okay, fine. Mackers. Mackers. So you're just like, I need to go to Mackers to get me some. Mackers. It's an A. Pronounce the A at the end. Oh, M A C C A for McDonald's. Yep. yep. Okay. Sure. All right. And the other one is the the Burger King. Uh, yep. uh, we call it Hungry Jacks. Apparently, they. What? Uh, I believe that they had trouble with licensing or something like that. I don't go there very frequently. We have one, but I don't go there. Hungry Jacks instead of the Burger King. So the Burger yeah. King is downgraded to a Jack, and then your McDonald's mm -hmm. is Macca's, and you mm -hmm. are the place that Mad Max is real. Got it. Just putting mm -hmm. putting things together. And so the the menu to the menu. wonderful wonderful, and I'm sure completely culturally sensitive Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> it probably is. Yeah. So they've got a couple of. We'll start with the. Aussie tizers to share. Good lord. Okay, yeah, that's a groaner. So we've got a blooming onion. Yes, the blooming onion. I'm assuming that's like onion rings. Uh, um, okay. It is a whole onion that has. Okay. It's, it's a giant onion that you basically take a mutated apple quarter and smash it over the top of it and then bread and deep fry that bitch. Okay, so you've Americanized it by deep frying it. Got it. Uh, well, first the... of all, I, I would like to say that's Scotlandizing, if anything. And secondly, <laughs> yes. Yes, we I did. I don't think of Scotland when I think of deep frying stuff. You, no. But Speak Scotland to us. No, has listen. an excuse because it's cold there. It's Scotland. Have you seen train spotting? Those people are crazy. We have people who train spot here in Australia, so, you know. Well, yeah, I'm not saying you're not. Mad Max, the difference between, no, okay, I'm going to put something in perspective. When okay. when Miller was talking about Mad Max, he said the difference between Australia and Mad Max is about a week. He said, no, and, 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 and the way he described that was he said that when there were gas shortages in the 70s, he yeah. said there was no gas for like a week. And he's like, in Victoria, gunfights. It's breaking out over that. And he's like, the difference between you and Mad Max is a week. And this is the creator of Mad Max saying that, who is actually a very accomplished student of sociology. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. Um, I've seen people when, like, we did this thing, tax benefit, I, I don't know, where they've made fuel a dollar a liter for oh. a little while, and people went nuts. Yeah, a dollar um, a liter. Wow. It's normally like a dollar fifty. Oh so. yeah. Well, uh, we sell gas by the gallon here because we're awesome. Yeah. Well, you, you have those weird. I I posted something about how I feel about your imperial measurements in meme spam. Feel free to check it out. Listen, uh, I I, I want to measure everything in feet and inches and dicks. I I want <laughs> <laughs> how many dicks of it can. How many dicks of the king? Like it's it's the it's the dicks of the king. So you're like, ah, yes, the corn must be eight dicks high <laughs> by July. <laughs> oh, being a medieval peasant must have sucked. <laughs> like, but but is is there ten of those? No, there must be twelve. It's like, but okay, yeah, all right, all right. You I'll, think that's I'll take bad. everything that's you... divisible by a thousand. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. So okay, um, our bag steakhouse. Back to the steakhouse. So uh, yeah. we've got Aussie cheese fries. I don't mind putting 
cheese on fries. In fact, cheese is going to be a strong theme in this. Okay, that's fine. I, I don't mind cheese. Uh, would I say it's Australian? Uh, it depends on you what you guys make. Some okay cheddars. Uh, they 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 go well with your dessert wines, like Jonesy. <laughs> uh, crispy calamari, damn straight. Uh, Alice Springs chicken quesadillas. I've never been to Alice Springs, so I can't tell you. <laughs> yeah, Alice Springs, they're... known for their chicken quesadillas, as you know, in Mexico. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't call the only thing that Alice Springs and Mexico would have in common is that they're both hot and dry. Your whole, <laughs> your whole chicken tindy shaped country is hot and dry. Except for the oh, parts near, that are near yeah. the ocean. Except for the parts that are near the ocean, which are wet and hot. Well, 85% of our population lives on the East Coast. So, Yeah, uh, Meme me Machine says Alice Springs is known for alcoholism and weightlifting. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd believe that, unfortunately. Right. Um, the uh, chopped barbecue chicken salad. Oh, no, that's the salad. I've gone too far. No, no, Wood you, fire grilled shrimp. No, Damn you, straight. You need you need to go to the burgers. This is where it starts to get oh, American. The okay. Oh yeah. Okay. It depends on what's on them. It doesn't like this menu doesn't say what's on them, which are, is Are you fucking rude? That is rude. No, you need to know what's on a burger. We've got the blooming burger. Don't know what's on it. Served with Aussie fries. Well, they need to determine what Aussie fries are. Uh, so they're like normal fries, but more violent. More violent. Probably like you unmet. throw them at people. <laughs> they just come by with a bucket. Oi, fries, cunt! <laughs> Oil splashing everywhere. All right. Uh, so, it doesn't the menu, unless somebody from oh, the Oh, uh, Jazz Co. says it's also the stab capital of Australia. Uh, unfortunately, that wouldn't surprise me either. Well, do you think that they have a Miss Stab Capital like contest? Like she has a sash and a hat. Like she comes out. Maybe. Miss Stab Capital. Sink. That's unfortunately going into politics, which is. Um, I know. I'm. <laughs> I know. I'm just making a joke. Jeez. I know. I know. I know. But probably, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mrs. Bulletproof corset it goes to. <sighs> uh, <laughs> see, I, I have to make fun. I went to grad school in Detroit, so. You know. This this is a case of, 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 of just... Well, they really made this better without having to unlock equipment and unlocking it by level. I think that's kind of neat. I like that. I like that they did that. Oh, oh, very good. Oh, cool. New ship okay. access. Nice. We've got grilled chicken on the barbie. You don't grill chicken, you weirdos. Um, I don't know why they keep going to Alice Springs. I don't really think of they, Alice Springs they, when I think of chicken. They probably, like, licensed it, or they did this thing where they looked at a map, right? <laughs> that place looks like it's got chickens. Yeah, no, they were just like, bzzz, zzz, Alice Springs. Uh, I'm going to get more coffee while you dissect this horrible menu. Oh, okay. God. All right. Uh, I'd have to disagree with the only rural... T oh, American, sorry. Uh, Perth? Perth is pretty rural. It's like the furthest place from everything. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> oh, hang on, go. <laughs> We have a wild goat. All right. We have a wild goat. A goat. Hello. Hello. Goat, you could play music if you wanted. I'm sure people would like that very much. Yeah, especially being sleep deprived and all that. Listen, goat, uh, okay. Who wants to hear goat play music? If you upvote, goat will play music. If you downvote, 
Goat will play music. Goat will still play music. Yeah, he's going to play music. It's, it's, I've, I've said it. The Brazilian genes are activated. And, uh, yeah, so that's what's going to happen. Fuck you. Fuck you. I was like, what I'll do is I'll get, because apparently we have an Australian version of the Outback Steakhouse. Go figure. Oh, no. Um, so I was like, maybe if I get. <laughs> yeah, no, no. So, look, we were, we were talking about. Outback Steakhouse as some sort of weird simulacrum of what Australia is, both culturally and food-wise. Um, and and so she was reading over it and just being like, "That's bizarre. That's bizarre. That's bizarre." And then, chat, guys. Oh, I found a menu that's got a um, actually describes what they are. Fantastic. Oh no! Yeah. Okay, so she's going through American burgers. Oh, shit. American food abroad is always a trip, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like what people think American food is. These are all too fancy. What do you mean? They've, just, they've got things on them that just fancy. I'm going to be fancy and tune this down. A whole step. A whole step. We'll play this low D. Low D. <laughs> and you just and you just tune it for the rest of the stream. You're just constant <laughs> like that sound. Oh. This is. So, okay. How about I tell you what perfect Australian burger that I've had and you can tell me what it is in comparison to what you've experienced. Alright. So, either a... So you've got a bun. Cheese is a must. Yeah. Either a beef patty or a sticky. Hey, hey wait. What kind of cheese? Wait, wait, Goat, you're you're drowning her out. Hold on, she's really quiet. Oh, so, mute. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, no, no. So, question. You said a beef patty or a what? A chicken snitty? Oh, chicken what? <laughs> Are you making words up? No, it's a schnitzel. Oh, a schnitzel? Yeah, snitty. Y y uh, we're speaking the same language, but I feel like you're <laughs> from a different reality. Ah, it's a chicken snitty. What the snitty. fuck? Just, just roll with it. No, I'm, you I'm, say yes and when you're role playing. Yes it's and snitty, okay. Yes and sorry, <laughs> I I I had some baser moments. Pardon. Yes and. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, uh, the pineapple, beetroot, lettuce, sometimes tomato. I you've, barbecue, you've described sauce. you've described a sandwich but not a burger. I'm 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 gonna have to say that a, a burger should be half mm -hmm. pound, half pound, eighty five percent, half pound, eighty five percent grade A beef, and you should smash that motherfucker onto a hot fucking cast iron grill till you got that good caramelization. Just salt and pepper both sides, real simple. And if you do it fast and quick, real decent, you get it nice. And medium rare, serve that up, uh, cheddar both sides, or if you're fancy, raclette, because when that melts, it's really good. Toasted bun, grilled onion, pickle, lettuce, mustard, tomato. You could take out the pickle. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, do you know what a chicken parmi is? Yeah, I know what a chicken parmi is. That's, that's, good. that's, inter that's, I think that's a yardstick of civilization. <laughs> Do they have chicken parm? Yeah, I agree. Somebody asking. I'm sorry, but you, you cannot have a burger that's a schnitzel. That is not a burger. A, bur a, a burger has to have the burger in it. The hamburger part. The right. part that's Tell meat. Tell me how the sound is so I can adjust to the game. All right? Yeah. Ready? Okay, you're going to need to turn that down a little bit. That's, that's, that's like way drowned out. Adjust, adjust gain down a little bit, just a little bit. There we go. That's better. Ooh. And See, 
to me a and I'm probably uh, performing a faux pas here is a burger is determined by the type of uh, carbs <laughs> that I use to encase it oh my god see I, I think it's all about the meat that's that's the thing is I think you can have a good hamburger without a bun if the meat's good everything else works I think you can have a really good <coughs> meat and just not put any like the carbs being chips or something like that and that well sure <coughs> sure so you've got either the bun which is like the roundy kind of ones or you've got a sandwich which is a piece of bread which is flat a roundy kind of one I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm using my hands, but nobody can see me. Yeah, I was. I was like. I was like a roundy what? I'm not like oh. doing my mental brain maths. Not understand. Am stupid sometimes. Well, for me, a piece of bread is generally square or rectangle. That's and true. That's true. A bun is circular and usually in both dimensions. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not. You're not wrong. This woman is the most un-American person I've ever heard of. Very un-American. Never been to the place. Don't really plan to, maybe. Are you kidding me? We have so many cool things. Have you heard we of machine... have amazing things, but I am terrified of how much things cost. Have you heard of machine guns? They're pretty cool. Yes, I have heard of machine guns. I have shot a gun. I own one. I do not. I own a Nerf gun. Apparently that doesn't count. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, if you want to shoot a machine gun, you know. <laughs> I had a, um, I had to go to um, the emergency club the other day because I thought I was having a heart attack. And I, um, I was fine. It turned out to be muscular bleed. But, um, I found out how much that would cost if I was in America. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> dude. If you, if you get sick in America... You better hope you die. That, that'll save you from paying the bill. Um, no, we're going to the emergency department was free, so... Um, yes, things are expensive to get sent here. Like, postage is absolutely a ridiculous like, or a meme, and it's very true. It's $8 on my own. It's, it's, what is it like to live in Australia? And it's like, the cost of the item, $8.99. The cost of postage, $100. <laughs> wow. I think uh, we had, I can't remember who the Legion member was, but um, somebody said that they uh, needed to try a type of chip. Um, like the, uh, and it's like, you need to try these and get everyone to buy them from Amazon. And it's like, okay, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll try and we'll see if we can get them in. I'm like, oh, let me know how much it costs to get them shipped in and I might try some too. The chips were like ten dollars. It's one hundred and seventy-five dollars to get things posted to Australia. What? Jesus. So that's that's where the experience expensive in Australia. That's just nuts. Uh, goat is apparently a little loud. Okay, so goat is a little loud. Mr. Goat, can you hear us? Now. Little, that got louder. Yeah, that got, the, the guitar is still loud. You're quiet, but all the way down. Uh, how about now? I I may have you turned up on my end. So uh, one moment. Oh, hold on. Let me let me adjust goat here. They've turned me up as much as they can. I'm just quiet. <laughs> there we go. Let's try that. Oh no, suddenly goat's way quiet. There we go. Alright, good stuff. Back to ship breaking. Me cutting out is probably my internet. <laughs> it happens. Oh, the electrons only have to run all the way over to Stray and back. That's true. That's it. I'm just cutting shit apart. I don't give a fuck anymore. Oh god, I'm on fire. No. Why are you in a fire? I'm just having a bit of fire. Don't worry. It happens to everyone. Uh 
transferred to you back into the um. <laughs> no, no, everything's everything's fine. I just I just had a moment. I just had a moment. It happens. It's not a big deal. Yes, I didn't have to question how you have fire in space. There's no option. Well, it's because it's space fire, and I also ooh. I like that. I like that art right there. I'm taking that art. That art's coming with me. Try turning, uh, try turning Hasbe up on your end. Dude, so she's turned up all the way. Uh, I'm just... Yourself uh, and me down a little bit? I'm so sorry. Can the guitar guy do Spanish tunes? Fuck yeah, milkshake barrage. Alright, one second. I, I will turn goat down to 50%. There. But you can now not hear him at all. Oh, God. I can hear him. Well, yeah. Well, one second. There we go. I think I've turned mine up as loud as I can go, unfortunately. Yeah, pretty much. Unfortunately. Oh, I can be loud. I can be loud. And um, there is no such thing as having a conversation with the person next to you. It's I can have a conversation with somebody in the room, but I don't think you want your ears to be blasted out. <laughs> yeah, indeed. And we get... so I've been known quite a few times. Somebody's like, oh, can you go talk to this person? And I'm like, oi, mate. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'll break across the room. Yeah, no, they can hear me. It's fine. There you go. Do the full, do the full, uh, do the full Australian. Oh, hey. So how, how did you get your husband to come down all the way down to Australia? How did you lure him to your lands? I convinced him to come down to Australia. He is British, yes? Yes. Uh, he met here. Um, his family wanted to immigrate, uh, to Australia, um, his dad was sick of the rain, apparently. <laughs> oh, God. Well, okay, I could see that. Just being sick of the rain in England. Yeah. Because, fuck it. Oh. Uh, it's like, now we've got to rain. But you get floods and you get fires. It's like... Yeah. yeah that's fair. That's fair. Moment, we're in a... We're in a... We through our, um, season there. We're in... Oh shit. Oh, this giant piece will not move. I have to cut it apart. Ooh, that was interesting. I could just cut there. I'm sure, that'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Cables. It's just cables. There we go. That ought to stop these things from. There we go. Yeah. It, it, it. There we go. Get going. You're breaking up, Hosfei. I love the sound of the reciprocating sword. It's happy. Yeah. It's it's good. All right, so I've got I've got these ship war parts. Come on. Come on. All you gotta do. Oh. There we go. Yeah. I just gotta throw that in the processor. Get in there. There we go. Come on. Stay a while and listen. Stay a while and listen. I'm going to see, you've got you've got my accent, which is which is a bit of a drawl. And then I've developed the the upper class English accent that I I pull out on special occasion. Ah uh, yes. Well, um I, I speak me, and then I speak the southern accent I was born with. Oh, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Okay, we cut a bunch of stuff apart we probably shouldn't have, but fuck it. This is how you do things. Okay. Not being careful. Look, eh, I, I'm, I'm not going to be careful here. I, I mean, they're not paying you to be careful here, are they? No. Well... 
they don't really think they care. They're like, we just need this and just do what you can to get that done. And yeah. they really don't care about you. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. I mean, they're like, look, that's a nice antenna. Get it off that ship. Everything else, who cares? Including me. As we were talking about the, um, the amount of money before, it's like, how much of that bill would be taken down if they didn't store your genetic material? It's like, like I know it's not the game, but <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, it. I, I, I think that basically, the whole point of it is just company store, right? Hmm. So like, you're not allowed to die until you pay off your debt. Hang on, most of my debt is the, the what you've done to make sure that I don't die. Right. Well, welcome to the company store. What can I get you? Uh, my left arm fell off. No. Uh, you, you are allowed the pursuit of arm, uh, any guarantee of arm, uh, to include arm and arm accessories is the sole uh, executive right of arm corp and is leased. The lease terms include general use of arm during daylight hours. I, I, the right to bear arms. Right to bear arms. arms. Like you, you, you just you, you have these bear arms in your house. What about arm bears? Sure. I mean, why not? Just turn that one around a little bit. Yeah, sure. I mean, why not? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very egalitarian. I, I think that we should ask why not instead of why. You know. I, I, I think that we should reach down in ourselves and seek our full potential as a species by doing really stupid stuff with lots of energy. Well, you don't get anything if you don't try anything new. Well, think about it. I mean, science is a two-step process. Step one is fuck around. Step two is find out. Find out? Yeah, it's easy. Science is fucking easy. Anyone who says science is hard is just... No, it's just fuck around and find out. No, the hard part of science is making sure that you don't die. Sure. I mean, you can't, like, look, I, I can give you guys some very basic science tips. Some things I've learned, all right? Very simple things. Uh, one, uh, don't drink all the things in the lab. Mm -hmm. Just don't. Uh, generally, just anything in the lab, don't. Yeah, don't. Drink. Yeah, just don't drink the things in the lab. Um, if, if you find some sort of new and interesting energy source that emits particles, maybe don't use them on yourself right away. Maybe, maybe use them on smaller, more fragile creatures until you can determine if these emitted particles cause cancer. Miss Curie, I'm looking at you. Don't touch the watermelon, that's part of an experiment. Why is the watermelon growing? Why does it have eggs? Who cares? I mean, it's it's one of those things. It's science. It's science is science. Science is that human dream of this is not enough. I will invent better. I was like, I, I, I love the idea of using all of your senses in order to, to discover things. So back in the day, um, they liked to lick things and discover what they tasted like. And it's like, somebody probably had to die from this knowledge. But... <laughs> That's like, how uh, sac that's how saccharin was uh, discovered. The guy who discovered saccharin uh, was in a lab, and he was eating, and he tasted something on his thumb that was really sweet. So he asked his wife, "Hey, what did you bake my bread with? It was really sweet." And she said, "Same shit as normal." And so he tried the normal bread, and it wasn't sweet. And he's like, "Something in that lab must have been really sweet." So he tasted everything in the lab. Until they found it. Yeah. This is this is science. These people are scientists. Well, it's like, because as I said, I, I work in a, in a lab, in a pathology lab at the moment during COVID. It's great. Um, and my most hated place in the lab is the microbiology uh, incubation uh Thing. I was going to say fridge, but that's not right. A box that keeps things hot. And it smells all kinds of wrong. I, I can imagine. Something in there is trying to kill people. Yeah, there's... Science and chemistry contains many bad things. 
and I've learned to not trust them. I know how to use some of those things, like, you know, I, I know how nitrating works and phosphating, but uh, so, some of that stuff is quite scary. Mm. Oh, man. Yes. Quite important, but like I was, um, uh, I was looking up pathology memes the other day, cause trying to keep up good humor in the lab while everyone is ridiculously stressed. And uh, there was, a, aren't you glad that we don't have the um, the vacuum pipettes that they used to use, where they'd have to use their own mouth to suck up the things that they were trying to get out of the oh, tubes. God. Oh God, really? I'm like, hmm, I was not aware of that being a thing. I, that's horrifying if true. Yeah, no, it was. All right, very quickly, move this container of Ebola. Did somebody ask for a wayfaring stranger? I can't do the echo thing, though. Sorry if that's editing, but. I do have somewhere to be in half an hour. That's fine. Um, I, lot, I was I was thinking about ending the stream here before too long, because about two hours is where I like to keep these, unless I'm hyper-caffeinated and on a roll, or raising money for charity, and I feel like we need more. After this, do you guys want Samurai where you can actually hear the guitar, or something else? Goat. Well, we've had a lot of people who are saying, no, we, they want to listen to Goat, so I'm like jump out and I hope that you enjoy Goat and his wonderful, wonderful music. All right. Have a good one. Thanks for having me, Tex. No problem. Thanks for showing up. I'll turn Goat up. My loved ones who've gone on. I'm just going open door. I'm just going open door. I know doctors gather around me. Take requests, goat. Fill that shit. I can sling steel while you do it. Someone wants Space Hero. Okay, let me take that up. I haven't played that one in almost a year now. So That's a classic. A different game now. Yeah. That was how to... You wanna be a hero in the sky. Bum, bum. Yeah, basically Nano Trace and Security theme.
Yeah, Dude, call back. I saw that. That was great. <laughs> Exotic space queasy. Wanna eat exotic space queasy. Powder eggs and with a bar stew and burger char. Yeah, you won't eat exotic space queasy. So, so, guy says, Tanks, you are just away. I listened to Goat. Sorry. Oof. Sometimes a sideshow. Good. I don't know where I'm going with that. Yeah, you, you'll think um, of something good. <laughs> oh, I'm also like super sleep deprived, so here goes. One of the latest weaponry. One of the latest weaponry. Cause I jam and spray, go jam and spray like hell with the stocks behind my tail. Yeah, he'll blow his own in his weaponry. Wanna take a bodybuilding course? Do you want to take a bodybuilding course? Our base really tends to put muscles at both ends. Yeah, we'll push through the bodybuilding course. Wanna get some gorgeous for a day? Want to kiss some gorgeous foreign days? On a hug, the world's a more, there's still just one kind of whore. Yeah, let's watch and see a gorgeous foreign day. Want to taste the lettuce for today? Do you want to test the latest weapons, may? Well, on every other pass, we'll get you in the ass. Yeah, that's how you test the latest weapons, may. <laughs> Do you want to further medical research? Do you want to further medical research? Between modern weaponry and all the new kinds of EP, you will sure further medical research. You'll be young and handsome all your life. You'll be young and handsome all your life. Well, the odds are good that you will be dead by 22. Will be young and handsome all your life. Well, hero is a four-letter word. Hero is a four-letter word. Just another term for fool, and you'll learn well enough. Hero is a four-letter word. Hero is a four-letter word. Nice. Play us one more song to take us out, Goat. One more song to take you us out for the one? evening. Like a louder one or one more subdued? Whatever you like. All right. It's by Poor Man's Poison.
Got a secret, I think he like a slave. Got a black man, teach you read a bottle of the teach. You'll be headed up the hill to the grave. It is well with my soul. You line your pockets full of money that you steal from the poor, and on your way down the hill, hear me ring that bell. I'll pay the devil twice as much to keep your soul. There was a drifter passing through that little valley. He had promised he was coming back down. Didn't know by his face, by the gun around his waist, but he'd come back and burn back down to the ground. Cause there was fire, there was smoke. Then that picture man was hanging by a rope. Then they all fell to the truth to make that drifter beg the please as he raised his fist before his coat. I am the righteous hand of God. I am the devil that for God. Told you one day you would see that back on your team. That hell's coming, hell's coming, hell. Hell's coming with me. It is well with my soul. Line your pockets full of money that you steal from the poor, and on your way down the hill, you ring that bell, and I say, "Hell's coming with me." Well done, Go. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Uh, what is your YouTube? Why, why don't you Why don't you post that link and I'll approve it? Yeah, because I can run it. Oh, I run my own stream. Yeah, oh. you're not a corporate sellout. <laughs> Give it time, I guess, huh? No, no, you won't. Do you have think like think? A real job. Yeah, I have a real job and responsibility, and uh, and <laughs> I I don't Speaking like. Speaking to the mic. Speaking to the microphone. Yeah, you have to turn it all the way down so one fucking fuck it all up. Did you guys hear all that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they heard it. They heard it. All right, so um, drop drop that link, and we will gladly send people to go. I don't see it. Oh wait, you meant uh, send it send it direct to me. Send it direct to me. I'll post it. I'll post it. I'll be a good man. Yeah, just send that send send me that shit. All right. Everybody, I want you to go terrorize this man's YouTube account. That's Mr. Goat. Yeah, I'm already seeing some comments. Yeah, get in there. Get in there. I want you guys to go raid that. That's Mr. Goat's YouTube. Encourage that man. And you can see what he looks like, and he shoots from his room, so you can analyze all the things in the background and judge his life in detail. Or you can say, this is your room? It's so cool! Yeah, yeah, exactly. Alright, anyways, thank you folks for tuning in on Lazy Friday. And uh, remember, the BPL podcast is out there if you're having trouble falling asleep. <laughs>